is Chris Markowski and Jenna Lane from your wake-up call. I mentioned early on in the program, see, I told you so moments don't work out for us too well because we usually call things that are going to happen, and more often than not, when they happen, well, it's something bad. Um, we, uh, Jenna, you went off on some pretty epic rants back when the whole Bo Bergdahl thing was, was, uh, was transpiring and the fact that we are trading someone that is allegedly a deserter. Um, we've had some stories come out over the past couple of days that the Army is going to be moving forward with prosecution for desertion, which is as about as bad as it gets uh, for the armed forces. And trading Bo Bergdahl for five bad guys in Guantanamo. Uh, we warned you, and we were right, uh, that this is going to set a really kind of dangerous precedent for the bad guys around the globe. And sure enough, they uh, captured a downed Jordanian pilot. This is not long ago. He was shot down, and they also captured a couple of Japanese. One was actually an adventurer. The other one was a Japanese journalist. One of them's been beheaded already. The other one's about to. Uh, the clock is ticking at this point in time, but Jordan has said, hey, you know what? Uh, we're going to make that trade, and they're going to trade someone, a woman terrorist that is on death row for a bombing that killed 60 people at a hotel, 60 people for the pilot to get back. And again, trading with terrorists, I guess we do that now. And we had our ABC News correspondent, Matt McGarry, mm -hmm. on the program today, and he had discussed with us that a message came out mm -hmm. yesterday, which was Tuesday, saying that these prisoners had 24 hours to live, essentially. And so, obviously, the clock is ticking, as you said. And I had worried about this, setting a dangerous precedent. All of a sudden, you start negotiating with the bad guys. And keep in mind, these five, these five guys that were at Gitmo, they weren't just these scrubs per se. These were very, very mm -hmm. bad guys. And suddenly you do that, it sets a dangerous precedent for how the U.S. is going to be doing business with these people. But also, too, the rest of the world. Suddenly mm -hmm. the rest of the world sees this, countries like Jordan, and they say to themselves, well, okay, you know what? We've got to do what's best for us. And so let's, let's initiate this trade. And you're going to tell me that they're going to release a woman who bombed a hotel that killed 60 people? Mm-hmm. 60 people. It's a pretty bad woman as well. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Well, she had a suicide vest attached and hers didn't go off. She was a part of the plot. Um, the question is this. What if? Let's play the what if game. We've got ambassadors all over the globe. What if one of our ambassadors gets taken in some country? What are we, what are we going to bargain with if they ask for somebody out of the Supermax prison, some really hard guy? We're setting a precedent. We traded five guys out of Guantanamo for one guy that was a deserter what's the next trade that's going to be and, made? And don't even get me started on the whole situation where, you know, meanwhile, Sergeant Andrew Tamarisi was in a Mexican mm -hmm. jail for, I don't even know how many number of days it was mm -hmm. finalized. But, you know, uh, aside from just that, you continue to do these negotiations, which in my opinion was just this whole negotiation thing. And we're going to find out in the next few days as far as uh, Bo Bergdahl, whether or not he is going to be tried for treason. But, you continue to do this, and you have no more leverage anymore. You continue to level the playing field. Not just that, but you're strengthening the opposition. You cannot tell me, by the way, that those five bad guys are actually sitting out in Qatar right now. You know they're not. No, they're not eating falafel at this point in time. They're, they're I think I even not. said that they're yesterday, by the way. Days. But anyway, we got we to gotta go to break, everyone. We'll see you next time.